What's up, guys? Um, doing another review for you guys today. Seems like it's been a while. Um, stock hasn't been all that great, even though it really never has been. If you hear any music, I don't own any rights. Iration is on right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but it's really for my entertainment, not yours. <laughs> um, this morning, I stopped by Salivo in Squirrel Hill. Um, I went there really early. Um, I was there by 8 a.m., and I wasn't even the first one in line. I was the third person in line. They were there since before 8 o'clock, um, which is absurd that I even had to do that. Um, not till about like 8.45, other people started showing up. Um, but they had a, a drop, and a Keystone didn't have anything I wanted. I mean, their dry flower selection wasn't that bad, but I need, I need concentrates now. Especially since I'm still dealing with my finger pain from the surgery. Um, flower doesn't even touch pain for me. So, yeah. I had to go over there. And originally, like, I knew it was a typo on their menu when I saw um, a full gram of Moxie lemon cookies, I believe, for $50. Now, I tried to get them to honor the price, but that didn't happen. And I knew they wasn't going to, but I figured I'd try. It's about the only time I'm ever going to buy Moxie is if it's <laughs> $50 a gram or $60 a gram, which it never, ever, ever, ever is. So, I'm never going to have Moxie unless it's, like, given to me. Because I'm not paying that price <clears throat> when I can get perfectly good Terrapin for 55 a gram. Or go black market and get an eighth for one ten. Hmm. I wonder. Um, but yeah, uh, I got lemon sweet skunk shatter. Now I was a big fan of the flower, um, so I don't see why I wouldn't like the shatter. I'm pretty excited about this sativa, honestly. Um, oh, one thing, I picked these up off of Amazon. Glob Mops XL uh, 2.0s. These work fucking fantastically. Like, I am so glad that XCon John referred these to me. And, um, yeah, um, because these clean my banger so good. It's, it really gets the fucking grime off. Like, it gets in there. Um, so. If you want something to clean your banger, this and alcohol. Boom. Um, but anyway, the Lemon Sweet Skunk um, is coming in at a total of 85.842%. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I hate that YouTube started doing advertisements. I remember a point in time where YouTube, there were no commercials or advertisements whatsoever. So, here we go. It's a couple little tiny loose pieces. Let's get this big piece for you. It's pretty dark. I like it. It doesn't really have a smell to it. At all, actually. There is no smell to it. I really need a, a scale. Uh, that's like the next thing I need to invest in. I just hate like I had a scale and... It's just, it's a piece of shit that doesn't work anymore, so. It'll literally give me a different number every time I put something on there, so it's literally pointless. Um, to even try to use it. But, I'm gonna start off with a little piece. It's not like pulling snap either, it's like kind of, it's shattered. This is like the most shatter-like shatter I've gotten. 
feel like normally it's more pulled and snapped than actual shattered. But the aroma, not that good. Eyesight, it looks pretty good. And let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna go with the cold start. Didn't make it hot enough. See, I'm not really getting... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really getting much of anything, really. Like a, a distinctive taste. Like, that's really weird. It was more of like a resiny taste. Make this a little hotter. I didn't heat it up enough the first time, so. It's just so bland. Like the taste is like so bland. It's not like. <clears throat> it's not like I'm getting anything like really dominant. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I really, <clears throat> I can't think of anything that would get me to be able to explain what this tastes like. It's just like a, it tastes like a resiny type taste. Like, that's, that's what I think of when I hit this. It feels like I'm smoking Reclaim. I mean, <clears throat> I'm high, and this was the first hit of anything I've had all day. <clears throat> well, that's not true. Before I went to the dispenser. But it's been a couple hours since then. And uh, so I no longer have the effects of that. At all. Um, <laughs> so I definitely feel it. Like uh, the strength is there. It's good. You know. But just not um, the taste. I don't really taste anything. Not like how member berry was. That was very good. That was just, the taste was amazing the way that that tasted. I didn't like the way the tangy tasted, but still it tasted like something like ass or egg rolls. <coughs> but yeah, um, <coughs> uh, and um, <coughs> I don't know, maybe like <coughs> like a hint of caramel, maybe. Um, it's not really dominant, like, it's not really heavy, you know, like, I feel like a hint of caramel, maybe, but, um, anyway, a little bit of background on, um, on this strain, that, um, Lemon Sweet Skunk is, uh, a mix from Sweet Island Skunk and Lemon Skunk, and, uh, Sweet Island was really good, I had, um, before, and I don't think I've had Lemon Skunk, but I've definitely had Sweet Island Skunk. Um, yeah. Apparently, this, um, was supposed to have, like, a, like, a lemon-limey aroma. I don't see that, um, but that's just my experience. I don't know. Um, that is also with the flower as well. That's not this concentrate. So... With what I was reading on that. You know. I'm a little disappointed that this doesn't taste really good. 
because I love the way that the flower tastes. Like, I don't. Know. I feel like it's been a while since I had a good sativa. I feel like I've been getting a lot of indica dominant. Well, it's not true. Uh, but more so indica dominant hybrids lately. Um, but I'm excited for this. And because I like the way I feel right now, you know? Like I'm ready to go do something. Um, but at the same time, I'm really chill about it. Like, I'm not all super hyper, like, yeah, do something, blah, but, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to do something. I'm very, <coughs> I'm ready to do something, but in my time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm ready to go get shit done. That I'll do it when I feel like it. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I feel like that's the best way for me to describe this. Um, yeah. So... That's, uh, let's about wrap this, uh, this drawing up. I feel like that's about it. You guys get what you came for to see how the effects are on me. Very relaxing. It's a very relaxing sativa. And I, I'm disappointed in myself that I only got one gram of this. I should have definitely grabbed more. It seems like that's what I've been telling myself a lot. Lately, there's a lot of these strains, but and you know I only get one gram at a time because I want to be able to afford to do more reviews of different strains for you guys. But with this concentrate shortage, I don't feel like that's that's how I can live my life. I feel like I, when I see something I like, like I'm gonna just have to get it and stock up. And it's a shame that we gotta live like that as patients. And back to what I was saying earlier, like, I went to Salivo at 8 this morning because I was afraid by the, like, if I waited to get there close to 10, I'd be so far back in the line that I wouldn't even get what I came to get. And that can't happen because the only other thing that they had to get was unaffordable for me, <clears throat> you know? And, like, I'm not going to pay $50 for a half a gram. I'm just not. Um, but I shouldn't have to live like that as patients. We really shouldn't, and it's messed up. Like, we really shouldn't have to worry about, um, not being able to get our medicine when, when we go before it's even open. Like, we're there, and we still can't get it. Like, that's ridiculous. But, um, Lemon Sweet Skunk, uh, Terrapin Double Bear, Shatter. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. Like I, I wish I could lose a little bit more of it. I guess that's always the case, you know? I no, always wish there was more. Um, and I wish there was a taste to it. Besides this, like, really, really faint caramelized smell. And, like, see... And I'm saying caramelized because on Leafly, that's what it said. And, like... I just, like, I guess, like, because that's what, that's what it said on Leafly, like, that's what I'm, like, faintly tasting, but, like, like, I can see it kind of tasting, like, caramel, but it's not that dominant, you know, like, I don't taste it all that bad, like, all that much, <clears throat> but I can see it tasting, like, caramel, but it's not, like, So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Dab Lab. Like always, stay safe, stay medicated, and check out the Strain Gang PA on Facebook, and be kind to each other, man. We all, we all want the same thing. Yeah, spread love. Peace out, guys.